F1 News, Fernando Alonso claim made by former champion Mikkel Hakkinen that is the verdict of two-time champion Mikkel Hakkinen, who has praised the Spaniard after he brought an end to his career in the sport. Alonso competed in his 314th and final Grand Prix 11 days ago as the 2018 campaign drew to a close in Abu Dhabi. The Spaniard's 11th place finish at the Yas Marina circuit reflected what was another frustrating season for him. Collected just 50 points from 21 races, failing to get himself on the podium at all. Alonso is set to stay in motor racing though as he aims to become only the second man to secure triple crown glory. Hakkinen claims the 37-year-old ought to be remembered for more than just the two titles he won with Renault. Fernando Alonso's departure deserves special mention, Hakkinen told. He won two world championships, and yet only eight world championship points separated him from potentially winning another three. His achievements as a driver are not reflected by his titles. He has always been able to perform consistently and to the very highest level, including during the last four seasons at McLaren. Alonso finished 17th, 10th, 15th and 11th respectively in the four seasons he spent with. Hakkinen has hailed the Oviedo Bornace for coming through the adversity he endured while driving for the British team. For me it has been unbelievable to watch how he has reacted to a series of difficult times and disappointing results, Hakkinen added. You can only be proud of seeing a professional sportsman remaining so positive, focused and professional, whatever the circumstances. From a driver point of view it is difficult and frustrating to smile and keep performing when the car is not performing. I have a lot of respect for what Fernando achieved during his time with McLaren in Formula 1, as he showed a lot of courage and loyalty to the team throughout this tough period. It is great to see that Fernando has a future planned in sports cars and also in D with plenty of fresh challenges to come as he aims to win the motorsport triple crown, winning the Monaco Grand Prix, the Le Mans 24 hours and the Indy 500. He has already the first two, so I wish him every success in next season's Indy 500 with McLaren. Next news Ricciardo. Ticking brain and lack of sleep impacted performance. Daniel Ricciardo believes the inner commotion generated by the stressful process of deciding his future likely impacted his performance last summer. Ricciardo enjoyed a profitable start to his 2018 campaign, winning in China and Monaco and positioning himself before the summer as a genuine contender for the world title. However, Misfortune and reliability issues wreaked havoc on his chances thereafter, as the decision regarding his future in F1 simmered. With a deadline looming, and the prospect of leaving the Red Bull family creeping in, the Aussie feels in retrospect that his dealings may have taken their toll to a certain extent on his performance in the races that preceded the resolution of his future, and his choice to switch his allegiance to Renault. I feel like even if I was to, say, trip and fall over on the way to the car and scratch all my arm, by the time I got in the car it would be blacked out in my head, he told ESPN. I guess what would have effect, which you probably don't think at a time, is when you're away from the track and instead of getting 8 hours sleep a night, you're getting 6 hours sleep because your brain is ticking, for sure this has some form of an accumulated effect. Again, I think I am stronger than that and when I get in the car I am sweet, I am switched on, but maybe it did take a little bit away from me without me knowing. For sure there were nights where I didn't sleep as I should have because I had a lot on my mind. Then that builds up and I was probably not as sharp as I once was. Evidently, a level of disruption set in for Ricciardo, fueled by his frustrating time on the track coupled with his difficult contract dealings.
Looking back he reiterated his belief that 2018 was without doubt he's most difficult season to date in F1. Even if you ignore the results there was so much going on around it, highs and lows, he admitted. Some of the DNFs were crazy but then the same year there was the high of Monaco and stuff like that, so it's a weird one. It was definitely as intense a season as I've experienced, both before and after I decided what I was doing next year. Next news Ricciardo still wonders who vetoed his move to Ferrari. Daniel Ricciardo revealed that the hopes he harbored earlier this year of racing for Ferrari in 2019 were short-lived because of someone's opposition to his presence at Maranello. Before his decision last summer to switch his allegiance from Red Bull to Renault for next season, the Australian driver had been in discussions with the Scuderia about possibly replacing Kimi Raikkonen for 2019. In the end however, the talks fell through, with speculation that Ricciardo's financial demands had perhaps exceeded what Ferrari was prepared to offer. I can't say why, he told Italian outlet Hotomoto when asked if he wanted too much money. I don't know what you're talking about. Who said I'd asked for too much money? Evidently someone said no to my arrival. Who? I'd like to know, but maybe I have an idea. While not denying his contact with the house of Marinello, Ricciardo felt at the time that the fate of Rakanen's seat had already been decided. We had discussions, but you could see that they had already made arrangements with Leclerc, so my talks fell through, he added. I hope for them that it's the right choice and that it works out well. As far as I'm concerned, I hope to still be in F1 for some time and maybe there will be an opportunity to meet again. Next news Verstappen slams F1 stewards, penalties were all over place in 2018. Max Verstappen has described Formula One's penalty system as too inconsistent in 2018, after numerous incidents involving the Dutchman. Verstappen was given his fair share of penalties last season. In Monza, one of his more memorable penalties came around, when he clashed with Valtteri Bottas, and the 21-year-old was asked if he still disagreed with the five-second penalty, for me, to be honest, I think it was still unfair because I did leaving him a car's width, the Dutchman told race fans. I think it happened the year before as well with Felipe and his teammate at the time. I think penalties in general the whole season have been a bit all over the place. Sometimes yes, sometimes not. Of course, looking back at it I could have braked a bit straighter instead of going to the left, but when you're in the car it's really difficult to judge that when you arrive at 300, kph. But for those moments, for sure, next time I'll leave a bit more space just to be safe, the Red Bull racing driver admitted. But I'm also there to race hard, I'm not there to give up my podium position. Verstappen completely outperformed, and outscored his teammate Daniel Ricciardo in 2018, and with the Aussie making the switch to Renault in 2019, Pierre Gasly has been promoted from Toro Rosso to try and challenge the 21-year-old at the energy drink brand. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.